Hello, I am Jamie Hart, and I manifested my dream condo in an extremely competitive market in Boston. And real estate was not even on my list. I was almost positive it wasn't even possible for me being single and a musician. So when I found a friend who had done it, she said, why don't you consider doing this? You're paying so much in rent. And I was like, this is not for me. I, I don't have the means for that. That's for higher incomes, etc." But the next day it just like wouldn't leave me and I was like, this is a ping. So I went on a real estate site just to see like, how much does real estate cost for what I need? And I ended up getting in contact with the real estate agent, told him my full disclosure situation financially. And he's like, you're actually in really good shape. I think you can make this happen. So I got so excited. I'm like, now I know what to manifest. And I was doing shadow workshop and I was like, I know this is gonna help out. I don't know how, but I'll figure it out. I had done Unblocked Money, The Formula, and Inner Child. And I did those, um, you know, more to like get to know myself and kind of figure out where I was blocked and limited. And I didn't see the direct link to manifestation until I finished Shadow, which is when I started to realize the worth and deservingness and just the self-forgiveness and self-compassion that I felt for myself doing Shadows so intense it's definitely my favorite and the hardest um and then a little bit of up level is learning deservingness like i knew i was worth it but did i deserve it and that was huge for me so the tests started happening immediately i started getting the lists of like what's available and i'm like no 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 i don't want any of these places they're in my price range but they're in neighborhoods i didn't feel safe in they were old they didn't have enough room so I was getting discouraged like very fast. And I feel like knowing that these are tests really, really helped me and it helped me keep the faith. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Like I trusted that feeling of excitement so implicitly. I was like, that feeling in my heart is there for a reason. And I'm not gonna let the doubt get in the way. So I found expanders at my yoga studio in one day. It was kind of funny. I met two people that both bought houses in the similar neighborhood I was looking in and they were both single women in their thirties that were in the same demographic as me. So I was like, okay, let's do this, I can do this. And I found my place the first day I decided to look at a place, the first place, walked in and knew. I was like, this is it. It's near nature, it's near a city center, there's so much light. I have double the spaces I had in my studio apartment and it was just in my price range. And I just couldn't believe it. I was like, this is too good to be true. Is that, is that a thing? Um, turns out you, it's not, you know, it was true and it is amazing. And I got my offer accepted, then COVID hit. And I knew that that was another test, but we made it through. It just made things a little more complicated and you know, they just needed a lot more income reference and all of that, but we made it through and there was nothing that was gonna stop me at that point. I'm a manifesting generator. Um, and I just was like, I'm gonna get it. Um, and I got it and it's amazing. And one last thing is I knew that the rhetoric of staying in a high vibration and staying positive and your thoughts become things, I knew that wasn't the case because I was basically negative Nancy like the whole entire time because I didn't think I could get the place I wanted to. So it really is energetic. It's just oh, it's so interesting to me. Um, yeah, so this is definitely the biggest manifestation of my life. Uh, can't wait to do more. And thank you so much for this work.